Welcome to an Alaska homestead. We're becoming more self-sufficient on a remote island in Southeast Alaska. So a big part of living in Southeast Alaska is, is fishing and crabbing. And uh, that's what we're gonna do today. You know, springtime is a, a very hectic time of year for us because we've gotta get the garden ready. We've gotta start finishing all of our projects that didn't get finished last year. And uh, we gotta get our fishing gear together. <laughs> And uh, uh, this this is about the time we start drop, dropping our crab pots, and that way we can start moving them, you know, deeper or shallower, and try to find out where the crab are located. So um, I'm going to take Brad and Victoria with me. Thank you, Rocky. I'm here. Uh, I'm taking Brad and Victoria with me. We're going to show them the ropes on how to get the crab and done, so uh, they can start doing it on their own and collecting some of their own food out there in the water. You know, the Southeast Alaska is probably one of the easiest places to that you would really be able to live off the land because there's just so much food in the, uh, you know, in the ocean because you can just fish and, and, and get all the crab. I mean, there's tons of stuff down there for you to, to eat and uh, it's pretty easy to come by. So uh, we're going to get the boat ready and, and uh, take Brad and Victoria with us and, and show them how to show them how we do it here. So a lot of times when you set your crab pots out, you'll find that your hooks are, that your cotton twine's been disintegrated and, and uh, you need to replace them. So that's what we're doing right now is replacing the, um, the cotton twine. And the reason they disintegrate is so that if you lose your pot, it won't continue to catch crab for the lifetime of the pot. There we go, we'll come back in a few days and, and check them, see if we got any crab in there.
Well, it looks like someone else on the island has some projects in store. It looked like they were bringing a septic tank and a water tank and a little excavator ashore. They also dropped the new mooring system out there in the water. Well, we had a pretty productive day. We had three huge stumps here and we got all three taken care of today. I need to cut these stumps down a little bit so I don't have so much um, wood out front and I can use some of it as uh, as firewood. So uh, that's a lot of work though. Glad we got it done. So we've got a few more trees we got to fall and, and get rid of those stumps and then we can put our uh, permanent water tanks in. We've got two 550 gallon tanks we're going to put in for our rain catchment system. Well the sun has left and the temps have dropped but I wanted to get a few stumps removed while the ground was still dry before the rain came. As you can see, even the tractor has a hard time with these big stumps. Without the tractor, I wouldn't even attempt to move these things. Well, we're getting a little snow mixed with rain. It was supposed to be two inches of snow today, but uh, luckily it didn't warm up or it didn't get cool enough. It stayed warm enough that it's just a little snow mixed with some rain and it ain't gonna stick. But we're going on our little walk today. We had a negative 4.5 tide, so we decided to do some maintenance on our outhaul. And we decided to take off our second, our backup uh, pulley system, because we think it's been putting a little extra pressure on the uh, the outer pulleys and it was causing the uh, the leaded line to wear the, the pulleys out. So we took the backup pulleys off and we're gonna just give it a shot with just the two on there. Hey, I was sitting here on the beach and guess who washed ashore? Ryan, Ryan Reed with Wildwood Off Grid Alaska. So uh, he, we got in touch with each other. He was gonna be in Juneau. So we, he, his buddy brought him out to the island and uh, they've been crabbing. Crabbing, getting just some fishing. Prong. Yeah, and, uh, trying to fish a little bit. It's great meeting him. So I'll leave a link in our description on his channel and in a week or so you'll have your crabbing. Fishing. Yeah, I'll put a video out. I'm gonna do an update video on kind of what I've been doing, but we're, uh, we're building a place off-grid out of Toke, Alaska. And so if you guys want to check it out, it's Wildwood Off-Grid Alaska. All right. That's Ryan. It was great meeting Ryan and uh, his friends from Juneau, Jeff and Pam. Um, uh, he stopped by and talked with our neighbors, Craig and Millie, about their solar setup. And uh, he drooled over my logs in the backyard a little bit because he just bought a, uh, a, a sawmill. And um, I found his channel, uh, I, he had a, uh, a, a deer hunting video 
in Southeast Alaska, and that's how I found his channel. And um, anyways, it was just it was just great meeting him and meeting a fellow YouTuber. And so, uh, if you're into hunting and stuff like that, and like he said, he's building a, a cabin up in Tope. Now, if you if you're interested in stuff like that, go go check out his channel. <laughs> see ya. telling me. <laughs> I think they can see us from here, Brian. Your secret spot is exposed. Uh-oh. That's all right. I think we're on top of it. Huh? I think we're on top of it. How heavy is it going to be? It's going to be a little heavy. You want me to pull it? No, I just don't want to rub it on the boat. Is it okay oh, to do no, this? Oh, no, that's fine. Okay. My first crab pot pulling experience, <laughs> and I'm just an observer. And you're getting wet. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm always wet. Just ask Brad. <laughs> <laughs> we have a rubber raft. It is what it is. It's getting heavy. Must be full then. Oh, oh man, no. wouldn't that be nice? Uh oh. Got... I'm gonna get wet. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh, there's crabs in there. Uh, these are the wrong kind. Oh my gosh, it's king crabs. Pull that up. I can't. <laughs> you need help? I don't oh, oh, she's got, sort of got him. Oh, we'll wait. She's got crabs. Oh, they're kings though. We yeah. can't eat them. So now we have to open the top and let them all go? Yeah. Do you want to get a picture? What's that one? Is he a king? No. What is he? No, he's, he's just a... too small. Where? The that's funny a... brown one. That's a tanner. Okay, that's he's not... just too small, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Don't... But see, they got little baby pictures up front. Oh. And they're ugly. No gunner. Whoops. <laughs> okay, who's next? Come here, you. Don't hurt yourself. You're going to go get bigger. <laughs> and then the commercial guys will eat you instead of us. They'll get you later. So, drop it right back here, or do you want to do a different spot? Um, yeah, you can just drop it here. You want to try a different depth or nothing? No, nah, this is good. Okay. We were like 10 foot further out, and there's nothing in there. So, if they're in there, when I get back, that means they just wandered in. Okay, so the other one could be that direction, unless there's one behind us. There's one over there. I can see one over there. Okay, well, let's not get the same one twice, right? Oh, yeah, you don't want to do that. Maybe she can do it with less profanity this time. Don't stick the dog! I, know, I saw him. I was like, oh no! Don't stick the dog! Oh, don't you! This is a lot of effort for, for Diana if it's not the right kind. <laughs> She's gonna be unhappy if I don't get her some dungies, huh? It would be a nice surprise though. Look what I got you. Technically Brian got him, I just pulled him. <laughs> You're just using the muscle. <laughs> well, I don't even have a boat, so I can't get him in no matter what. So this is okay to run this across your boat like this? What's that? This is okay to run this across the boat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it just takes off the counter coating. But as you can see, it's already been taken off. Here it goes. 
full of kings. <laughs> it's full of something. It's a lot heavier than when we dropped it. I'm not a weenie either. <laughs> well, this might be one of the bigger pots. That might have been the small one. Oh, good. I'll start with the light one. It's getting weaker and weaker as the bigger pots get bigger. <laughs> Nothing? No, it's the same damn thing. Kings again? Doggy. What is it, Gunner? Kings again. <laughs> Gunner, inside. Hey. Get inside. God dog. <laughs> king crabs have seasons, so you can't just go out and get king crab anytime you want. Um, they're also a, a larger crab, so the the crab, the king crab that are legal, wouldn't fit inside my dungeon pot. So that's why we can't keep any of these crabs. So that's why you see um, Victoria throwing them all overboard because they they come up in the shallow waters to mate and. Um, uh, and then they go back down deep, so it's just not a good time for crabbing for dungeon right now. On, At least in the spot where I like to set my pots. Uh, Come on, dog! <laughs> Jackpot! And this, this is over the bow, so that's a lot further down in the water. Okay, so um, I hope I'm not hurting them, but they're heavy as heck. Oh my lord. You sure you weren't fishing for things? Man, well, we found out where the crap are, they're just the wrong crabs. <laughs> Holy crappers. Okay. Okay, you guys, you guys are gonna go free. If I can get the bait out. Ooh! No smashing legs, that's the expensive part. <laughs> Gentle. Gentle. <laughs> gentle. Come here, be gentle. Good boy. Go swim. This guy looks like he's the badass one of the group. Look at that guy swimming. <laughs> Can you get him over the edge with the camera? Ready? Slow mo crab filming. God, these are bigger than the other ones. This is heavy. These are some big, heavy crabs. So, if these were the right ones, are they big enough to keep or are they still too small? No, they're still too small. Are they? Yeah, the ones in this pot, they're too small. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Well, we found the crab. We just found the wrong crab. Victoria <laughs> did a great job pulling the pots up for the first time. We pulled them up over the bow because the, the weather's picked up just a little bit. And we didn't want the pots to act as an anchor and anything come in over the, oh the, God, the stern of the boat. So, anyways, uh, I'm going to town. I'll get some more crab bait, we, and then we'll get some more fish put in there and um, see what happens next time we pull them. What do you think, Victoria? I think I got wet. <laughs> did you have fun pulling? I did. Up? Yeah, I was. I was excited when I saw the color because I knew something was in it. It was the wrong kind. <laughs> Gunner's on point.